Yeah, bring in the prisoner. You're looking at one, Sheriff Henry, who's not afraid to bring Billy the Kid into court and put him away for keeps. I suppose it doesn't matter. I had nothing to do with that express company holdup. No, that's for the court to decide. Uh-huh. His letter came for you. Dear Billy, Slade brothers are here in sundown. They've done right well for themselves since they framed that holdup on you over in Texas. I don't know what to do about it. They're too tough for me to handle. Fuzzy. Sheriff, I'm afraid you're going to have to postpone your trial. Postpone the trial? Why? To give me a chance to bring the men to you that are guilty of the holdup. <laughs> Did you think that letter would fool me? <laughs> Not any more trouble, Vic. There's no sense in getting a town all stirred up over unnecessary killing. All right, Mort. I just like to keep in practice, that's all. Well, practice on jackrabbits for a while. You forgot to give me an invite to their law and order powwow. Well, I think I'll drop in anyhow. I'll go with you. No, you stay with Vic. Your tongue and brain ever have got acquainted with each other. That brother of yours seems to think you talk too much. Yeah? How come? They've hired a gang of gunfighters that no one's hacking to tangle with. Not even the sheriff. Eh, it's gonna make it a little tougher. But they'll pay off on that holdup they pinned on me over in Texas. Don't you worry about that. It's the right fancy saddle you're working on, Fuzzy. Yes, yeah, for Joan Ainsley. Her dad owns the bank. He's one of the squarest men I ever knew. Thanks for the compliment. I'll tell him what you said. Hey, haven't you finished my saddle yet? Ah, oh, shucks. I have no steam engine. <laughs> hey, 
Oh, Miss Joan, I want you to meet my friend, William Barney. How do you do? I'm very happy. William Barney? Are you Billy the Kid? Yes, ma'am, that's what they call me. Then you'd better travel on. You're not welcome in sundown. Oh, shush, you've got no right to feel that way about him. The reputation of Billy the Kid is very well known. I'll be forced to change my opinion of you if that's the kind of friends you have. There are too many of your kind here already. The decent people of this town have decided to clean up all of you gunslinging desperados. It's a good idea, ma'am. I hope to be of some help along that line. We'll get along very well without any help from you. You're sure unpopular with her. <laughs> I think I'll live through it. Come on, Fuzz, let's circulate. See how things stack up. Let's have no doubt about the fact that we mean business and we'll see that the law is respected. Right, Your Honor. Thank you so much. Did you want to see me about something? Yeah. I've got some spare cash I'd like to invest. I thought I'd buy the mortgage the bank holds on the corner outfit. It's not for sale. Why not? The outfit's nearly broke. I bet he don't even keep up the interest. The rustlers have hit Jim Carter pretty bad, but he'll get on his feet in time. What's that to you? Are you in business for your health? Not at all, but that doesn't keep me from helping a friend. I want that mortgage. I'll pay you a good profit on the deal. It's not for sale. Well, my money's good and I've got plenty of it. I don't need it. Uh, you may think different someday. How does it happen you're so well off when everyone else is being rustled for? Well, I owe my success to thrift and industry. And knowing when to grab a good opportunity. Hey, I'm not in the habit of begging anyone to do me a favor. You'll learn that it pays to be agreeable, Ainsley. Well, come on in, suckers, and get your feet wet. We're all back once. All right. I thought they had you on ice over in Texas. Since when did you learn how to think? Meaning what? Framing your hold up on me didn't show good sense. That's a lie. 